Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. Well, we'll head on around and see what we can see. We've glassed this point out and there's a lot of other people doing the same. So see if we can move to a spot where maybe we can find a shooter. Last day, baby. Just as good as the first day, right? Or better. Or better. All right. over there? Yep. I think he's beautiful. I'd like to shoot him, but Tanner won't give me my bullets back. No, he's, he's, he's just a great buck. Any other unit, that would be a buck that you'd seriously think about, you, you know? I mean, I don't want to be arrogant. I don't want to come across arrogant, but this unit is just such a, a special unit. You just can't, you I, hold out. yeah. Here with this weather, too. You yeah, see them. Yeah, they could be a good day to get them off all that private. Yeah, or it's such a unique area where we're at because we have a, some private ground, and uh, you almost just have to be patient and let them filter down. It's just like that uh, that other buck that I didn't shoot with the bow because he was right next to the, you know, we call him Beamer, Beams McGee, whatever. Um, we didn't shoot him because if I'd have shot him with the bow, he'd have jumped the fence. And then the opportunity to get on there and recover him is basically non-existent. So, yeah, I I, I would be have a hard time though. I'll be honest, I'd have a hard time passing on that flyers buck. And, and the fact that we'd seen him and, I mean, looking at him, trying to gauge him, and, da, 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 and then, yeah, I'd have a hard time passing that deer. Yeah. Is he back? Is he tucked around the corner? Yeah, because I spotted him from, you see my foot tracks. Yeah. And he was just right up there in that corner. Right out of the yellow shit. You really don't want to shoot him? A unique enough buck that I'd shoot this buck. And of course he's like, well, it's fine. hold on, you know, hold on. But for me, it's all about the experience. And we've had, this is the fifth day of phenomenal, you know, just phenomenal. See you, dear. Safety's on too, just so you know. Okay. Well, there's nothing in the chamber. Just jerking that trigger off the rifle. Hey, dude. <laughs> Go shoot that fucker. I've been, I've been shooting a rifle before you were born, young man. I know he's still got milk in his lips. All right. I don't have a round in, so. I'd stay right on that fence. The, right the old the fence? Yeah, okay. Are you seriously going to set up? Or were you joking? I was joking. Okay. 
I don't think we have to run down to the We're gonna we're gonna test our field judging, so okay. we're gonna wait for you to kill that. Okay. Ready? Thanks guys. So you got you knew what I was talking about. And that from looking down there where the fences look like they corn, but they don't. Yeah. It, I mean, we'll he was get, right in that yellow. We'll just get a little elevation. Yeah. If you get if above, we don't see him I think I'm not we're not gonna go for Busting through there. Maybe get a different angle on him. I think if you get above him, you'll, you'll fuck, he'll be right there. Just come up there. You think just come up here? flirting with this fence. How far is that across that draw? Hmm. 
Hmm? About 600 bucks a pop. Do you think we can go up along the fence line and get up there and get situated? And if he crosses, that'd be like a 300 yard shot. Interesting, uh, interesting new development. So we had seen a really big typical from a long ways off. And we're sitting here watching this buck we call Flyers. And all of a sudden, out walks this big typical. <laughs> so now we got two shooters. And they're 50 yards from the fence. And who knows what's going to happen? It's going to it's going to be interesting. It's going to be real interesting. I would actually shoot this big typical now because he's just wow. He's just got that wow factor. But we're a long ways from that right now. <laughs> it seems like maybe not a long ways distance, but a long ways getting this to happen. <laughs> what a beautiful, amazing adventure. And I'd rather be doing this. See this action, get it on video. You just don't get to see stuff like this very often. <sighs> I hate to say this, but I think we're going to pull off this buck because I don't think he's going to cross. What we've seen is these does have fed up and they're fitting away from the fence. We've only got about an hour left, so we're gonna jump back in. We're gonna move back around, look at some country, get on top of the bowl, see if anything new showed up, and that's gonna be our, that's gonna be our evening. So, we'll pull out of here. It has been a great hunt regardless. We have seen, seen some amazing bucks. So even if we don't find the one in the last hour, it's been, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. <sighs> All right. Okay. Get this back in. Just a three point? Okay. I'll keep this handy. Onward and upward. I guess we just need to find a deer. I can't tell what he is. He's a lot closer than where you're looking, I think. He's right down here on this little knob, right down here. Uh, just a few little cedars, but I can't tell. Well, as we close this out, this hunt has been, it's been a roller coaster, but it's been just amazing. 
public land, Colorado. This is the type of hunt that you dream about. This is the type of hunt where you would legitimately have a shot at a giant deer, a giant mule deer. 18 years and didn't disappoint. Our public lands provide some amazing opportunities, but it doesn't always mean you're not your tag. And when I came on this hunt, I, I wanted that next step. I wanted that next level of buck, both maturity, size, but mainly wow factor. And we saw it. We passed on some bucks that got shot and guys are really happy with. And we found some bucks that we wanted to shoot and things just didn't work out because it's hunting, not killing. Just because it takes you 18 or 20 or 24 years to draw this tag doesn't guarantee you a 200. Tanner and I talked about that at the beginning. You gotta hunt. We've talked to guys here that haven't hardly seen any deer and we're seeing hundreds. So as we watch the sunset in this final evening, I could shoot a deer. I could literally go down here and shoot a deer and notch my tag right now and have a respectable buck. That's not what I want to do. I've got the trophy in the video, in the ph photography, in the pictures that we took, and right here. And things could have gone different, and we could be taking some snapshots of a big old bruiser, but they didn't. So, so for me, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this adventure I got to share with Mike and Tanner. Friends got involved drumming. Lindsay came up and glassed with me, with all of us. It was fun. Uh, we met some great guys from Utah and Texas. And that's what it's about. That's what hunting's about, camaraderie, stories. Because I will be telling the stories of these encounters for years to come. Thanks for tagging along on this, my most amazing mule deer hunt. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.